If you find yourself running out of storage space on your iPhone or iPad, then hopefully these 12 tips will help you reclaim some of that precious storage space and keep your iPhone or iPad ticking over a little while longer. And our first tip is to follow Apple's space saving recommendations. If you open up settings, click on general and select storage, you'll see the color coded bar where Apple displays how much storage you have used. However, underneath this bar, Apple offers personalized recommendations for saving space based on your data usage. So in my case, Apple is recommending that I empty recently deleted photos and enable iCloud syncing. However, your recommendations might be different. You might be better off deleting large attachments from messages or offloading unused apps. So the first tip is to follow this advice since it is specific to your data usage. Up next is an obvious one, but it is to delete and offload any apps which you no longer use. And we'll stay on this screen in settings because not only does it provide us with a helpful list of all the apps we have installed on our device, but it also displays how much storage space they're using and when was the last time we accessed them. If you see an app you no longer need, simply click on it and hit delete. Take for example, Microsoft Lens. It's telling me that I haven't used this app since last year, so I may as well get rid of it. If you'd rather not completely delete the app and any associated user data, you have the option to offload it. Offloading the app simply means your data associated with that app remains on the phone, but everything else about the app gets deleted. In this case, I haven't used Blinkist for a little while, but I don't want to delete my Blinkist library or the favorites information that I have saved. So instead, I'm going to offload the app. I can re-download it at any time from this screen or simply by clicking on the app icon, which remains on my home screen. The third tip is to disable iOS updates from downloading automatically. It used to be the case that Apple would download software updates automatically whenever your device switched over to Wi-Fi, much to the annoyance of those who suffer from storage anxiety. However, in iOS 13, Apple, Apple finally relented and made this feature an option. So now you can disable software updates from auto downloading. This will, however, also disable automatic iOS updates. So I only recommend doing it if you are in desperate need of the extra storage. Otherwise, it is best practice to keep your phone up to date. When it comes to chewing through your storage, photos and videos are one of the worst offenders. If you're a prolific photographer, then one of the options open to you is to sync your photos with your iCloud account and then enable optimize iPhone storage. By enabling this feature, it will replace the photos on your phone with lower resolution versions that require less space. The original full resolution versions are saved to iCloud. A more drastic approach if you have a Gmail account is to copy all of your photos to Google Photos and then delete everything on your phone. Google offers 15 gigs of free storage, which can be very useful in circumstances like these. Just be mindful to disable the synchronization in Google Photos having made the copy so you don't inadvertently synchronize your empty iPhone Photos folder. If you're a fan of burst mode where you can take several photos in rapid succession, you can free up a whole load of space by choosing to keep just one or two of the photos from the burst and deleting the rest. Remember to also empty your recently deleted folder, otherwise all those deleted photos will remain on your phone for another 30 days. Finally, in this section, if you have an iPhone X or earlier, you can also save space by disabling the high dynamic range feature. Having HDR turned on creates a second HDR version of the original photo, doubling the amount of storage space consumed. It's not only the Photos app where you can reclaim data by deleting photos and videos. Third-party chat apps like WhatsApp, Signal and Telegram are notorious for hoarding random GIFs, images and videos. 
If you use WhatsApp, then you are probably already aware that a copy of those funny photos and GIFs get saved to your photo library. I'm not sure it's the same is true for Telegram or Signal, but let me know if I have that wrong. Anyway, you can delete all media from WhatsApp in one go by opening the WhatsApp settings, clicking on Storage and Data and Manage Storage. Here, WhatsApp will show you exactly how much storage is being consumed by the app. You can delete content by conversation by simply picking one from the list, pressing select in the top right corner of the screen and choosing to delete one or all of the media contained within. To prevent WhatsApp from continuing to save images and videos to your Photos app, open a conversation Click on the name of the chat session, choose Save to Camera Roll, and select the option to Never. There are different options in Telegram where you can limit the length of time photos and videos are held on the phone before being deleted, or you can also set a maximum storage limit for the whole app itself. Talking of chat apps, there are several ways of reducing similar issues created by iMessage. If you regularly receive videos, Apple will give you the option to review these in the storage settings and delete anything you don't want to keep. A more drastic approach is to set a time limit on messages of either 30 days or one year, after which they will automatically get deleted. Perhaps the best approach, however, is to synchronize your iMessages to iCloud, thereby offloading the storage altogether. Most, if not all of us, probably now subscribe to at least one streaming service for our music and TV, which adds an extra burden to our devices that have limited storage. Spotify, Apple Music, Netflix and Apple TV all have features that allow you to download video or music for watching or listening offline. If you'd rather not delete your offline content, then most of these apps will have options to reduce the quality of the downloaded content and often allow you to clear the local cache, thereby reducing how much space the app consumes. I recommend going through all of your streaming apps and looking at what you can remove from your downloaded content. The same is true for books, although they consume a fraction of the space compared to their video and audio siblings. If you love your books as much as the silver screen, you can do a similar thing in Apple Books and Kindle. You can start by deleting books you've either finished or you have no intention of finishing. And if you prefer Apple Books over Kindle, this is another app that you can offload to iCloud, reducing the space it uses on your actual device. Finally, if you make use of the Files app to store content on your iPhone or iPad, you can take advantage of the Compress feature to reduce the size of files and folders. This is only useful for the content that you do not access frequently, since you'll need to uncompress the data before it can be accessed again. To compress a file or folder, simply hold your finger on the item to bring up the context menu and then choose Compress. To uncompress the file, simply follow the same procedure. So there we have it, 12 tips for reclaiming storage space from your iPhone or iPad. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.